Hello, this is Solar PVTV from Nairobi, from the event of Race for Africa, the launch of the program, and we are now with the man behind the event, with Roberto Vigotti, my friend since 14 years, even we are so young. Thanks yes. for inviting us here, and uh, really congratulations, because it's a really great event. So, how was the, you know, the, the initial idea of coming up with this event and also with the, with the program? As you know, we have been uh, working for four years in the Mediterranean. Uh, in response to Desert Tech and other initiatives, we created uh, in 2012 Rest for Med. And in four years, we have been uh, uh, proposing a model of working together through training, capacity building, analysis, study, country profile, big conference to policymakers. So this year we decided that it was about time to export the model of dialogue, the model of presenting a range of competence from academia to investor to utility to manufacturer and face the Eastern Africa uh, countries which in my opinion are the most urgent one for the So this is an experiment. I'm glad that you two uh, appreciate it. I think it will be the beginning of an intensive work program to make this happen at a regional scale. So actually today I like so that we are bringing the wealth, yes, and we are building the people of the future. Yes, in fact, uh, um, the idea of this for Africa is that uh, by bringing together a variety of stakeholders, by the way, we are a non-profit association, of course my members are profit, <laughs> which is also your philosophy, to bring facts, to bring to the, the country uh, the evidence that uh, the renewable, as you said before, is the best choice they can make. But not only for environment, which you know we don't mention environment anymore, we are part of the solution. Sometimes when you talk about COP22, say, oh, renewable, we don't need the COP22. We are the solution for that. In the same time, we, we know that the young people in Kenya and in Africa, you know, the comparison between 20 years old age average and 44 in Europe is dramatic. And we think the young people here are capable to take their own destiny. A renewable is part of that. That's why we bring in there to make industrialization, to make uh, skill and to work with them here. Don't import to Europe anymore. Let's finish now. The Africa Corp is dead. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, what are your plans, actually? Because... Uh, you are not only focusing on organizing the events, yeah, but uh, you would like to make something tangible, yes? Yes. We have uh, uh, different uh, issues. We try to add value, because honestly, as you know, Thomas, adding value is not easy. But adding value to the so many thousands of paper, consultancy, uh, now events. We, we, thought, we thought the added value is address the issue of the risking investment. So we do a survey on main investor, which I think you'll be part of it, if you would allow to, on how the people outside perceive Kenya or perceive Rwanda. And next year in the program, we have this big the risking investment survey. As you remember, we have a couple of consultants like Poiri, PwC, so they will help us. Second thing, we do a lot of study on integration of Uber in the grid. We think that we have to perform cost-benefit analysis not from the green side only, but addressing the traco, transmission operator, involving them in doing together a study on cost benefit. The next one will be issued end of November in Algeria. Mm -hmm. And the third one, big pillar, is the training capacity building in Milano. I invite you to come to Milano for one we session. We spoke with Emanuela today. Yes, in Milano we make the most advanced business car. We involve not only Kenyan or Arab, we involve Italians going, we compete with them. So they don't have the impression that we do do for you, we list them. No, 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 we have PhD from university, we have our members sending young people, and we have a bunch of um, a melange people. And the second thing, we go to site visit, we go to ISPRA to see the GRC, we go to waste to energy plant. Italy. So the idea that we come back, they understand that by working together, by the way, we created a virtual community for all the ex-alumni. So this is the kind of thing that is unique. If I had more money, and I'm going to ask money this in Brussels, we should do, and you have to help me, a lot of training, even locally. So next year, I want to plan to have a training course here, and maybe around here. Now, Eastern Africa is limited, but I think is the, the region that needs most uh, input. Uh, a gentleman there asked me about Cameroon. We see a gentleman now, before you told me, asked me... But there, I, were, there were a lot of gentlemen around you, no? Yeah, <laughs> the gentleman said, I'm from Mazai, you know, the big guy. We burn in our region every year, every day, several thousands of, uh, of trees. 
mm. for burning charcoal. We need to stop and renew. So I think it's an immense challenge, but it's a pleasure, as you know. And I like the, uh, your approach. And I like, I want to say, the approach now is having a, in having a, a distinguished lobby for decision maker. Because if you convince them, the rest comes. Okay, Roberto. So, last question, because uh, we are discussing in different continents, different countries, about 100% of renewables. And what is your opinion about this? And uh, when will you retire? After when we reach 100%? No, <laughs> I don't forget that you remember well, when I was in a career in NL, they called me the Cinderella option. Okay. Now Cinderella is grown up and went to court and we dance today. No, I think the 100% is not a, a mantra. I think in the next 20, 30 years, we still need to have a combination of renewable and flexibility tools like a combined cycle. But it's certainly clear that the fossil fuel age is over. The big now attack will be on transportation. If we can make hybrid or electrical car a reality, really they would worry. But at the moment, we will be glad, uh, happy to have uh, 50, 60 percent renewable, including Evo Fleet, and le let the combined cycle support us and in flexibility. It's cheaper now. But yes, 100 percent is more uh, ideological. You know? So, so uh, no retired uh, during next no. year's. <laughs> I'm having a lot of fun. I am, I, as you know, I am the grandfather of renewable. Actually, I'm a real grandfather. I have three grandchildren. Uh, when I, I call my grandchildren and say, No, no, where are you going in Kenya? I say, Which animal are you going to see? Uh, minister and uh, regulator. Oh, they don't understand. No, I think uh, I'm having a lot of fun, as you have, you know. And I will stay until uh, people need me. Uh, I, for me, it's a pleasure. It was Solar PV TV with the young and passionate supporter of renewables. <laughs> <laughs>